The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Aaron's spine surgery. Seven-year-old Aaron was born with skeletal dysplasia, a rare and mysterious condition that causes her bones to grow abnormally. As a result, Aaron is small for her age. I just want to have a look at your back. Her back curves forward and her neck is unstable. Today, Aaron must undergo surgery to fuse bones in her spine. If left unchecked, the malformations in Aaron's spine could cause permanent damage to her spinal cord, including paralysis. Okay, did you bring your heart with you so I can listen to it? Yeah. Good work. That would be, because I really want to listen to it. It's a really nice one. Have you had it for a long time? Yeah. Yeah. Silver. Excellent. And I didn't even cry. Oh, you were the best. <laughs> I told you, I just knew you wouldn't. I just knew Great. it. Great kid. So movement is not an issue, it's just wet, it's, right? It's how she does it. The, the x-ray yeah. showed if she extends her neck this way, um, the spinal cord still seems to be okay, but it's when she goes forward, the um, vertebrae are shifting, you know, three quarters of an inch that the spinal cord then is compromised, so. Okay. You ready to take some nice pictures? You okay? It's hard to hold your arms like that. There, maybe Daddy will come and hold them. There he comes. Hold the breath. Good. That's one picture done. There we go. Now this next picture is going to be really weird. I want you to open your mouth really wide for me, good girl. Okay, nice and still. Okay, you can close your mouth. Good. Good job. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, Mary. Good. Morning. Yeah, so you know, what we're going to do today is we're going to operate both on the area of your neck and also on the area in the bottom part of your spine, and that's where you have some abnormalities in the way the bones are made that are causing some deformity in the way the bones are. For the operation for your neck, what's happening is there's two bones in the top part of your neck are a little bit wobbly, so they wobble back and forth a little bit. Now, normally that wouldn't be a big deal, except that inside those bones is where the nerves from your from, that go from your brain to your legs are, and that extra motion, the nerves kind of go in a hole in the middle, that extra motion, that extra wiggliness can squish those nerves a little bit. What we're going to do is we're actually going to fuse the bones, those two top bones together, so they act like one bone so they don't wiggle too much and it won't cause any squishing. Okay? Now I know you've been fitted for this funny kind of brace that holds your neck, and that's really to keep your neck still after the surgery. For the operation for the back, what we're going to do is there's one area in the bones where there's an extra bend to the bone. We're going to just make an incision over the back. We're going to put lots and lots of bone to fuse that into place over that area. That one will heal up pretty well on its own. Okay. The major risks from this kind of operation is damage to the nerves in the back. Uh, the other kind of complications are really related to the fact that the fusions might not take. Right. and maybe a little high, slightly higher chance that the bones may not fuse. Okay. And that's always one risk we need to be worried about a little right. bit because the bones don't fuse and the operations won't work and they might need to be redone. Okay. okay you're are ready? you a little bit afraid? Yeah. Yeah. And that's normal. You know, it's normal to be afraid. If you weren't afraid, I'd be worried about you. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you again before you get back down to okay. the operating area. Okay? All right. Thanks very See much. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful brace? Yeah. <laughs> well, no. the jury's out on that one. I, I know. Yeah, I know. She yeah. baked a different. I know she's not so happy with it, but yeah. I think it'll be okay. Is that too tight or is that okay? It's okay. It's all right. Feels better. Feels better now. Okay, and now the front piece. We'll get you to look right up into the sky as high as you can. What do you think? Good. Yeah. Hi guys. Hello there. This is Erin. This is Erin. So our job then is to take care of her, make sure she's asleep, comfortable, getting the fluids that she needs, the oxygen she needs. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the room pretty soon, and we're going to give you a little mask, okay? We have different flavor masks. We have strawberry, watermelon. Daddy wouldn't like watermelon. Daddy doesn't like watermelon? Okay, we won't give Daddy any watermelon. But... You like strawberries, by the way? Um, no. You don't like strawberries. Okay, do you I like, like bubblegum. You like bubblegum. Bubblegum okay. it is. 
Um, because of the na nature of the operation, we will need some extra monitoring apart from the absolute basic standards mm -hmm. or usual. Mm -hmm. We are going to be very careful with her neck because mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how stable or unstable right. it is. Okay. But we'll be very, very careful and take all precautions and assume that she does have uh, an unstable neck. Okay. Okay. Good. See you soon, guys. Thanks. Okay. Thanks very much. And you get to hold all your papers there. All right. Aaron, can I show you my nice little bubble gum mask? Angel Bear has some first. Mmm, likes it very much. You want to try it now? Yeah. That smell like bubble gum? Yeah. Another deep breath count. Good for you. How nicely. So this girl has a skeletal dysplasia. There's a problem with the way that her bones are being made, and that's causing abnormality in the way that her bones are growing. And because of that, she's developed a problem at the top of her spine, and also a problem in this part of the spine with this extra bend to it. And today we're gonna to operate to fuse these two areas into place to prevent any future problems from happening from both those areas. Two of you can start up here with the top, and two of us start down here at the bottom. We'll take some bone graft first, okay? So we're going to expose the different parts of the spine simultaneously. And so we're going to make one incision at the top to expose the way the cervical spine is. We're going to make a second incision in the middle over the kyphosis. And then we're going to make a third incision to try and get some iliac, to get the iliac crest bone graft that we're going to use to make, to make the spine fuse. Okay. Taking the patient's own bone brings her own osteoblast, the cells that make bone, to them and gives you the best chance of getting a good solid bone fusion. This is the back part of the skull over here. Here's the back part of the first cervical vertebra and here's the back part of the second cervical vertebra. We're going to put wires underneath this vertebra, wires underneath this vertebra and a piece of bone exactly this size in between and the wires are going to go all the way around. It's going to hold the bone in place and keep those two from moving. And in the meantime, we should probably let the uh, clinical or neuromonitoring people know that we're going to be starting to do some work under the lamina and they should probably get ready to help us out. So we're going to use the dental instrument now to pull up to pull up on the back of the posterior part of the bone. And then we're going to pass the wire underneath the bone. Tighter curve. And we have to be really careful now to make sure that the wire doesn't push on where the nerves are, so we stay as close to the back part of the bone as possible. Yeah, we're, we're doing very well. The wire is in place around the bone, and we're going to use this device to tight, give the wires the exact amount of tightness around the two bones. We have an x-ray that shows that everything looks really well aligned. And so we're finished with the cervical part of the spine. We're going to finish up with the, the thoracic part in a moment. Here's the lumbar spine. Now, in order to get the bone to fuse, we're going to need to take the heart out of covering the bone off. And in order that, we're going to use, we're going to use, you can use a burr or you can use this kind of instrument to actually knock the covering off. Put this hole up there for a second. We can knock the covering, the heart out of covering off. Okay, I'll take the bone graft, please. Put the strips of bone on the outside here. Going from one bone to the next. Okay. Large bone graft here. Should hopefully be enough. So the way this operation works uses one of the most remarkable characteristics of the body, and that bone can always heal by making more bone. These fusions will heal by the bone making more bone over the area. Bone is able to heal with itself, and that will hopefully prevent any further problems with this young girl.
I was just telling your husband everything went absolutely fine. Okay. No, no problems. He's, okay. he's uh, in the recovery room. Okay. Surgery so went went great. Okay. Uh, she's awake, moves her toes and everything afterwards. Okay. Okay. And really did fantastic. No problems at all. Okay. So there was no complications. At all? Nope. Okay. Good. So the volunteers will get you uh, probably in about 20 minutes or half an hour okay. or so, and you can see her in the recovery room area. Okay. And she has that brace on. Yeah. And everything was strong while she was under her heart yep. and everything yep. else? Yep, no okay. problem. I put the brace on her. Okay. It's actually on her skin, not over a t-shirt. Okay. We don't have a t-shirt okay. or anything in the operating room. Uh, I'd like her to try and stay in the brace while she's getting up out of bed and moving around. She certainly can be out of the brace mm -hmm. in bed and things like that. So she doesn't have to be using the brace all the time. Okay. Okay. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Now we just have to wait for them to uh, come and take stuff. <laughs> Give you some medicine so it won't hurt, okay? You'll make it feel better, okay? I promise. Can you feel mommy's finger? has to come around to do one more thing, okay? Okay, so this is the one that goes in the tube. You won't feel that. You might feel it going in, okay? Oh, but, there we go. Oh, feel that, okay. eh? Okay, look, I'm gonna go really slowly, okay? It's okay. No. Honey. It hurts? Okay, honey, I'm sorry. No. Okay. It's all right. No. Like the Sadie solution? No. Okay, all done. That's all. Yeah. Just keeps it clean. That's all done. All right. Do you think we should put the... Uh, the, the chin piece on for the transfer? Well, yeah. I can't adjust it at this point because do you see how high up yeah. that has to go? Yeah. Her whole neck would have to be tilted. Okay. And okay, you just try to hold your head as still as you can here and we'll go, okay? okay. All right. And if, just don't try to look around. You just look straight up at the ceiling, okay? So we'll try not to bump. Mom and Dad are right here. We'll walk up with you, honey, okay? Wiggling your toes okay? Yeah. Good, and you feel me touching your feet down there? Yeah. yeah. I can't even bend them. Oh, good. That looks super. Now, I know that the brace has not been fitting you all that great, so I'm going to talk to the brace people. Hopefully, they'll come by this morning because it's a different kind of brace. We can also try one that just goes on the front and the back of your neck, which maybe will be a little bit more comfortable for you. The wires are holding the spine in there pretty good, so you don't have to worry necessarily about breaking anything in your neck. Yeah, she's quite anxious about yeah, I know. it. <laughs> she's been more upset, I think, than everybody else who's yeah. moving her. She's, do you have my neck? Are you holding it? Yeah, maybe that brace will be. I just want you to be a little bit when you get up out of bed and stuff. Oh, of course. Of, using that to make oh, just sure, to sure. give a little extra support to your neck. Okay. So once you get that neck brace on, you can sit up a little bit and get out of bed. And then once you're eating and walking around and everything, then maybe you can even go home. Is that okay with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you have any questions here? Do you have anything that you want to ask? Anything that's making you worried? No. no. Okay, good. Good stuff. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. What we should do is get her onto her back, and I'll get a collar, and we'll try it on. 
Now is the color, is it a two piece? Or? Two piece. Okay. So there's a, a back and a front. So when she's on her back, we can slide the back piece underneath. Okay. And make whatever marks we need so that we can make the adjustments and then we'll put the front piece on. Okay. okay. It's not that comfortable, honey, but it won't be for long. Okay? It's just to get this fitted. Yeah, we know, honey. It's not comfortable. We know that. So we're only going to try the back piece on once and then you can go back on your side. Okay. Ow. Uh. Think you want it over here? Yeah. No, are you okay? If we can creep this under the we're about halfway there. <laughs> okay. I got a turn. I got a turn now. Can I turn now? I got a turn to my side. We will in a in a second. Okay. Okay. He just has to make some measurements. Cause you're so little. <laughs> this is so big. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Can I go on my yeah. side? Almost. Almost. Okay. Let's just get this fitted first, okay? That's it. That's it. You're doing great. That's it, honey. It'll be okay. Okay. You're being brave. Like back up. Yeah, we know. We know. We like the size. May I have to move that? <laughs> no. No? No. It just has a very short neck. Where's the rest of your neck? Where did it go? I don't have a neck. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm discovering. It's those silly bones, right? Okay, you can go back on your side. Which side do you want to go on this side? The same one. This side. Yeah, this, side. this side again? It's a little bit tight under there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to shorten that a little bit. How does it feel otherwise then? Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, we start by taking one hand each, and then yeah. you can try on your own? Yeah. Okay, well, let's start together, okay? Take a little shuffle. Hard work, isn't it? You tell us if you feel like you can do it all by yourself. If you don't, we'll hold your hand. What do you think? You think you can do it? Yeah. Wow. Good for you, Erin. You can. Yeah. Can you go wiggly wobbly? It's not bothering you over there. Enough. Enough. That was an excellent job. Wow. There. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Good. How's your back and neck feeling? Good. Trying to feel a little bit better? Okay. I think she's coming along well. She looks great. Yeah. Okay. Like you doing okay? Yeah. Yep, once she's comfortable with the collar on, she can go okay. home. Hot dog, you hear that? We got to go home. Okay, so so we'll keep getting better, won't we? Yeah. yeah you're the boss. Okay. Are you ready? Turn the beds out of the way here. Hi. Good. The big hallway. This will take us to where the elevators are. See the, the bright sunshine there? Yeah. and everything is doing really well? Yeah. Is that right? And you're back doing all sorts of stuff? Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been now since the operation? Seven oh, weeks. Seven weeks. Uh -huh. Okay. Oops, so you're falling off there. Can I take a look? Can I take a look at your back? Yeah. Sure. It's good long hair. So there it is. It's healed up really well. Mm-hmm. Okay. That looks fantastic. So let me show you x-rays. Right? Here, here's where the wires are at the top of the spine that we used to hold this into place to get to the very, very top of the spine to fuse these two bones in place. That looks super. And over here is where the bend in the in the back is where we put the bone graft from the side. Right. And it also looks looks very good. So at this point, we need to monitor the x-rays uh, along to to make sure that the curve in the back slowly gets better over time. It doesn't right. get any worse over right. time. But okay. But it looks like the actual looks fantastic. is yeah. taking yeah, and it looks it's great. healing. It looks okay. fantastic, yeah. Great. Right, yeah. Okay. okay, so we have a list there. You have a list there. Do you remember what you wanted to ask? What do you have? Skipping and jumping. When? Because she allowed to yeah. skip and jump. I told her probably not quite a while. Yeah, I would wait. You know, probably, you should probably wait at least three months after the operation before you do a lot of skipping and jumping if you can manage it. Okay. 
So that would be like another month from now. You yeah. can maybe what do else? some jumping. Yeah, what else you got there? Riding, Riding a bike. Riding a bike? Yeah. Uh, how, how, good is she, how good are you at the bike? Do you fall off the bike a lot or are you okay on the bike? I'm okay on the bike, but I'm going to learn how to do a two-wheeler. What? You were... We don't want to learn to do two wheels right now. Oh, you have that training the... wheels on the bike? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I have a training wheel bike she can jump. Okay. And your last one? Hula hoop. Can she do the hula hoop? A hula hoop. Is that a bad motion, the twisting? At the waist? Probably not. It's probably not as good as the hula hoop, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe you can wait a little bit on the hula hoop, okay? <laughs> All right. Doctors will continue to monitor Erin as she heals, but she is now strong enough to participate in her favorite activities. Erin is recovering remarkably well, and she no longer risks damage to her spinal cord. I won. <laughs> On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Lauren's heart.